L don't mind my hair. Um, I recently just put like a pink on top of it and then I was molding down my edges. So um I just did a whole nother video about that. So I'll have that up when all of these videos come up. Like I have a lot of videos for you guys. Like <laughs> anywho, so this video will be about getting started because I know a lot of you come to me about how to get started and I'll be like, alright. I got you. <laughs> now, okay, so first things first, what you want to make sure that you have, because we are making wigs on a sewing machine, you want to have a sewing machine, honey. It don't matter. Like, mine is the brother, and it's Project Runway Edition. What you want to do is, like I said, you want to make sure you have a... You want to make sure you have a good machine. You can use brother. You can use singer. Pretty much, baby, whatever, get the job done do it get it buy it but i use brother i really really like this one this one is computerized um it has a lot of different setting better variations because i don't only sew wigs like i sew clothes as well and i'll show you guys that like later on of course you want to have your sewing machine now with my sewing machine i use universal needles i use a 9014 I don't think that I have any more. Um, I don't think that I have any more. Let me see. Actually, I do. So, this is a. Um, it's not going. Let me see. Let's see. So, this is a universal needle. These are universal needles. And the 9014. The 9014 is the last one on the end. That's the one you want to use, especially because with doubling the tracks and everything, it keeps it keeps the needles from breaking. Like any other needle that's smaller than that will break. The 9014 is very much durable for you making the sewing for you making the the wig on the sewing machine from start to finish. That's from doubling the knots and everything. Like I've had experience where I've used anything but that 9014, and they just break because they're so frail. They're not durable enough. They're not thick enough. They're not strong enough to handle the heavy duty work. You wanna make sure that you're not constantly breaking needles. If you're constantly breaking needles, that's probably why, like I just, no lie, I just found that out probably like three months ago that that's why I was breaking needles. Like, it's, it's not even serious, it's not even cute. So, you wanna make sure you have your universal needle. You wanna make sure you have thread as well. This is what I use. This is called Sherlock. You use it, they use it for coats, purses, um, like leather, a lot of different things like that. Like it's very, very strong, really, really durable. Um, it comes with 3000 yards for this one. I think that this is only like 399 at Sally's or something like that. And I've had like other, um, cotton threads and nylon threads and they cost like 1299. It's like too much. No. So I do have different, I do have different, um, I do have different colors specifically because I like to pre I like to pre dye my hair and then having the thread match the hair is like super super helpful because then it it helps keeps the the entire wig in unison so did you don't have to worry about covering up the thread or anything like that you know whatever so I have red I have the beige for blonde I have this for like gray hair or hair that's not really like black black or brown or anything but this is the one that I use the most and I probably have about like four of these because like I said they're like $3.99 Joanne fabrics girl um you want to make sure you have you a nice durable set of scissors now these are my frisk scars these are really really great like they're um lifetime warranty and everything so they're supposed to last you a lifetime um i've used them on a lot of different things i have like three pairs because i need to keep a nice sharp pair for every time i want to work so these are like um i think like ten dollars at walmart and then like 11 or 12 dollars at joann's so you want to get some of these these are also by friskar 
and I like these as well. I use these for like when I'm cutting off my lace and everything because you don't really want to have a really big pair of scissors. So now this is the sewing thread. And this is a lot thicker. This, um, I got this from my local beauty supply store and they sell it in bulk like this. And it's only $2.99, so <laughs> girl, give me five of them, okay? <laughs> so, anywho. So, this is the thread that I use when I'm sewing my frontals down. Um, I don't mind it being black. If I have any other color other than uh, black, like when I'm using blonde hair, I'll take my beige and then I'll like, um, I'll like double. I'll double, double, double it. Like, it's like six strands that I'm putting into there. So, uh, I'll show y'all that another time in another video. You want to make sure you have sewing needles. Now, I have tons and tons of bags of these because when I do order my caps, they send me these. Um, they'll send me like 20 needles or something. And they come in like, they give me like a variety of C shape and U shape. Um, personally, I like the C shape a lot better because they scoop in there a lot better. I don't really care for the U shape. I always stab my hand. It's not, it's not cute, okay? All right? No. You want to have caps. Caps, honey. Yes, caps. So this is a um, mesh dome style cap. They come in like, I think like three different packages. I don't have the one for mesh dome. If you want to see the package for the mesh dome cap, just watch any of my, my previous videos. But um, recently, I just bought a bunch of more of these because um, I did the, the cool mesh dome. Let's let's do some more mesh dome cap. You know what I mean? So, um, this is a Japanese swim cap inspired. It is a lightweight band. You can use it on U-Par. You can use it on pretty much um, absolutely everything. These are really, really nice and durable. They're a lot more stretchier than the... Um, in the cool mesh dome cap either way I go i like i like them both um as you can see i have like a really really big i have a really really big box of caps like i try i like to make sure i keep at least 10 caps and i think i have real over that so the other caps that i, I have used before um these are nice really big uh breathable cap this is called a capitalist cap so when you're sewing over this, you'll sew over all the bands and everything, and then you'll pluck all this stuff out, which is too much. It's too much. I can't. Mm. And then they not for me. They not sturdy enough like how the rest. Okay, of them now are. these caps come in this yellowish for the blonde. They have a light brown, a brown, and a black, of course. So, like I said, this is the other. Uh, this is the other one for the mesh dome. This one is by Donna. The other one is by Girl Cupid. Okay, so that's mesh dome. That's mesh dome. Let me see. Um, you can also have like they also have like U part caps. To be honest, I don't care for these because they not they too stretchy. They not sturdy enough. So I don't, I don't bother with them. Then you have the um the stretch weave cap now this is an adjustable cap i would say if you just started out then these are okay to use but they have a and i'm mad i don't have them but they have i love you too honey i'm upset because i don't have the other adjustable cap that i really like to use because i'm out of stock in them so i'll show you guys that in a whole nother video but they look exactly like this and they are 10 times sturdier like honey 10 times okay actually i'll leave the link below so y'all can buy them okay because i need to restock in them too okay so caps and so of course if you want to be plucking hairlines you want to also have tweezers now i have a lot of different tweezers you don't want to use cheap tweezers now these are my favorite these are really really nice and sturdy i got these in a um in a manicure pack they are they're perfect for me um my number one though i like to use are these these laser 
Um, I got these off Wish. These are really, really nice and durable. Um, the laser does not get in the way because as you can see, the tweezers are really, really thick around there. So don't have to worry about that. And then this is cone shaped. Just as long as you guys just gotta make sure that, cause sometimes I find myself where I'll be using it and then you can see the button is right there in the middle. So just make sure that the button is not in the middle. And you can use this at the top to tighten it up as well. And that keeps the, uh, that'll keep the light very, very nice and sturdy on the inside of there. So you have those. Again, like I said, you want to make sure you have a substantial amount of these because you will lose them if you like anything like me. Because... I lose them all the time, so having about 50 of these handy is not really a bad idea. <laughs> um, if you can find anywhere where you can buy them in bulk, then yeah, do so. Like I said, when I order my caps offline, then I'll get a lot that come with that. And also, I order so many at my local beauty supply. Like, they'll give me like 5 or 10 when I go on there sometimes anyway. So, that's always, always, always a big help, like they know I like my stuff. They know I like they know I like to keep my stuff in stock. Okay. Okay, honey. You want to also make sure that you are having your um measuring tape. I got this measuring tape from Dollar Tree. Really, really nice. You click the button, it go right back up so you don't have to worry about your measuring tape jamming up or anything, um, being somewhere twisted up or anything like that. This this is my favorite thing to, to you when I am measuring my clients' heads. And I do use measurements. Okay, honey. Okay. When you are starting out with your guidelines, you do want to have a chalk pen. Now, as you guys see me, I don't use a chalk pen because, girl, I can eyeball word them, um, I got eyeball where them checks supposed to be, and you know, you grown, you supposed to know where a straight line looks like, honey. Okay, so start off with the pen when you're very first starting out. After a while, drop the pen. You a pro, okay? All right. So of course, like I said, scissors. My bands that I use. My bands that I use. I use the woven. I don't use the braided kind. The woven lasts so, so much better. It's a lot more durable. I'll open it up so you guys can see. This is a one inch. I really like to use the one and a half inch, but they was out. So, you know how I go. You gotta do what you can get, honey, okay? Now, these come in white and they come in black. Um, You can use black for pretty much any color. Um, I would recommend using white for light hair, blonde hair, anything, but you can see those. I like this one. It's a lot more durable, a lot more resistance to the stretch and everything. Now, since I do use pens, I'll show you guys the different pens that I use. They do come in these boxes. Um, let's get out the bobbins and a little thing things like that. Okay. All right. So, um, my regular Q pens that I use, they come in like pink, rainbow colored, um, yellow. They're extra long ball pens. So those are really, really good. You don't really want to use small. You don't want to use cheap ones because those, the cheap ones, the balls will pop off. So these are really, really great. I've never had the ball pop off. Not once. Like I've had them bend, but never had the ball pop off. So those are really good. Um, in conjunction with using those, this is a magnetic board. I really, really like to use this because as you can see, those are on there. So when I'm using my pen so I don't lose them, or even if I lose them on the floor, I'll run this around my area, and then I can find the pens. That way I'm not stepping on them or anything, you know. I do use um, these thick quilted pens. Now, these are really, really nice and thick. A lot better than the T-pens because the T-pens hurt my fingers and everything. As you see, I already don't have nails, like... My nails are like very, very braille. 
like not real brittle so like i grow any little tiny bit of nail my nails like break off like off so i cannot have anything like pulling my nails back or anything so i like these because you can just go in there and pull those straight out um that is the ball pen like i said they're extra long really really nice to work with i really really love those i like to keep extra bobbins on hand i need to fill up my black because i'm all out of black um i'll show you guys that in the next video but i like to keep a nice 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 amount of bobbins i actually like to keep this entire thing for like as you see i'll have red i'll have my blonde like i have a lot of blonde coming up so i did blonde first and i'll do my black and i'll fill that up um you can also get this from um joann's and walmart as well i got this from walmart um you can get all these pins from walmart these are the smaller t pins i don't like i said i i don't care for them i really don't like them um they tear the lace and things like that i can't no um and i have other little jars and things that i keep my um that i keep my pens in keep them locked up and safe away from my kids because uh, y'all he knows it okay so i always keep extra bobbins i've never used these these are brand new um i'll probably fill them up just to have them just in case and as i'm working i do keep my ball pens stuck in here because it keeps them all in one place and I don't have to keep on running around looking for my looking for my pants, you know. Um oh I also like to use these little balls. These are really, really nice when like for display. So I'll put these, I'll have like my wig on here, and then I'll put like the ball pins in there for display. And I got these from Dollar Tree. And I have my other little small tea pins in here as well. I had a lot of the color ones, but I kind of ran out. So I had to go get some, some of these. And I saw these little gold ones. And I thought those were really, really nice and cute. So I got those. Now, last but not least, and I say this last on purpose, we're going to talk about these mannequin heads. These canvas heads block heads whatever you want to call it i call it by seven different names okay so if you ever hear me saying canvas head block head this is what we talking about okay so they do come in a lot of different sizes like this is a 21 that's a petite head size this is a 22 that is a um average head size and this one is a 24. Now I had a 23, but um, it got damaged, so I had to throw it away. So this one is my 24. This is all wrapped up. And guess what? I'm going to be showing you guys how I wrap this up. I wrap it up and I do wrap them up in duct tape. As you see, I had the little ugly one, so we're gonna wrap the ugly one up. Um, they do get damaged from anything from those chalk pens to hair dye to just whatever you use in um, chemicals whatever you use on the wigs on the hair anything so i do use duct tape you get this duct tape from dollar tree as you can see honey i like saving this money okay all right all right work smarter not harder okay honey don't spend all your money especially when you first start out no boy it's called build up don't spend all your money so i took all of the pins up out of here and it don't look like it but it's been washed okay all right so what i like to do first is if i can get this wolf so what i like to do first is this i'll run the duct tape over the top first and i'll do that And I probably should have kept my scissors over here. And no, these are not the same scissors I use for my hair. These are one of my old hair. So that's one. Two.
So you want to pretty much just follow the head shape of the canvas head. That way you're not um, over wrapping or you're not wasting the duct tape because it is Dollar Tree duct tape so they don't put that much on there. Okay. Yes, yeah, sweet pea. So I went over first, and that was the, cause that was like half a thing of duct tape. So I went over first, um, side to side, about three times, four times, five times, um, and then I went uh, front to back over the top part about three times. So one, two, three, and then I started going around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the rest of the duct tape and go all the way around, and I'm gonna just wrap it all the way around the bottom and the out show you guys that hey yeah i'll show you guys that so really and when you're putting the duct tape on here you want to make sure that you're pushing it down that way that it does not get in the way don't worry about it having wrinkles in it because as you can see my other one it has wrinkles in it um yeah because really like when you get to the end you won't have so many wrinkles and then the tape relaxes after a while probably like after a little while, it relaxes, so you don't really have to worry about the wrinkles. But we're going to wrap it, and then you guys can finish watching the rest of this. All right, so as you guys can see, this all done. Um, so pretty much what I'm doing is I'm just smoothing everything out making sure that everything is flat so I use about um, one and a half little Dollar Tree duct tape on here which is not a lot and like I said um, you guys this is a little bit tricky working with with the ball pins so if you want to work with it work with it see we'll see how it works for you but for me I really just like to keep them for decoration because they cute um, and for like taking pictures with the wigs and everything. So the other thing that I do like to do is with my new ones, I like to wrap those in saran wrap. Like as you can see, that other one got really, really ugly because I wrapped it, I didn't wrap it in saran wrap. So like these, I'll pretty much use these for like coloring, but um, because they're all wrapped up and everything. So I don't have to really worry about them getting messed up. And if that stuff seep through there, like, oh, well. You can always take them off and then rewrap them. Like, I'll probably take this off within, like, the next month or two and then rewrap that one in, like, probably a different color. I'll probably do, like, a gold or something because I really liked when they were gold. You could like, see the, um, the hairline a lot better. Like, these are just, like, pretty much really cute for, like, painting coloring and things like that so like i said the other thing i like to do is i like to wrap up and saran wrap this is um industrial saran wrap i get this i can't tell y'all where i get this from but i got the industrial saran wrap so i'm just gonna take this and wrap this around my mannequin hand now this is not hard to work with
once that's all nice and wrapped up, what you want to do is you want to take that and put some heat on it because then it'll shrink the saran wrap to it. So you don't have to worry about any balking or anything because it'll pretty much have it flat to the mannequin head, to the block head. So you just want to make sure you put a little bit of heat on it, not too, too much. That way it does not melt the saran wrap, but just enough to where it sucks it to the, the canvas head. And when it sucks it to the canvas head, then you A1, girl. So, of course, naturally, this one is wrapped. I am going to wrap this one because I already got like a little bit of mousse on it and I really don't like that. Um, this also helps um, keep water out because um, the cork or whatever material in here that's in here, you get too much water in there. It doesn't, no, it's not cute. All right. Okay. So, next video, I will be showing you guys how to set up the sewing machine, everything from A to Z, how to thread it, what stitches I use, and everything. And then, yeah. Proceed to the next video.